Hi everybody, how are you doing? I'm just going to pour myself a glass of water. How has your week been? So I'm recording this on the 12th of December, the 12th of the 12th, 21. Hence why I'm on here doing a video. And I just wanted to come back and... This morning when I woke up, I literally got up at 6am. It's a Sunday and I'm off and I worked till 9 o'clock last night. I worked till 8 o'clock on Friday. I've had a really busy week. And cut a long story short, it was like I couldn't go back to sleep after 7 o'clock. And I thought, well, no wonder it's a 12-12. I always feel the energies, the earth energies. Like you, if you're tapped in. Um, so I wanted to come on and just do a read. So I'm just going to take a gulp of water. I really need that. I've just done like a speed clean. You know, when you get a moment to just do the things that you want to do to get your space organised and... I can never really sit down and do a reading, whether that's a collective read or if it's um, a reading with clients. I can never do it with mess around me. It just doesn't work. I like not an orderly environment. I just like it to feel nice and relaxing, especially on a Sunday. So, yes, how has your week been? It's been, it's pretty intense at the moment, isn't it? Pretty intense. But also this time between, I'm hearing from the 12th of December up until the winter solstice, which is, isn't it, the, the longest day where we're going to have the least light, um, 21st of December, again, it's the ones and the twos, isn't it, the numbers, um, is going to be, it's a real power period. And also, funny enough, I was doing the wash up before, and I heard that, at this point of the year, this year, for some reason, I don't know whether I've known this about last year. I can't even remember last year. Um, but this is a really great power period to reflect, but also to to actually rest and to disconnect from um, a lot of the fear energies that are that are going on out there that we don't need to participate in. Um, but it might sound counterintuitive to you because this period for a lot of business owners and people that have their own services and products like, you know, beauty therapists, hairdressers, um, people that make crafts, um, you know, that you own a shop or a retail store, it's often your busiest period. So it doesn't feel like it's... you you might not feel like you've got you're a, you've got the space to actually um relax and you're just getting through this period and i feel like people in general have felt like they've they've got to make the best of whatever time they've got around restrictions so obviously again i'm never here to tell anybody what to do but i think energetically no matter what's going on in your physical life energetically um I'm like you, I've been working really long hours, um, doing lots of different things, is that it's even propelled me to do this myself, because I do all of this alongside you as well, so I just need loads of water this morning. I'm hoping the weather's going to hold out because I want to go out and do a long walk. So... They want the astrology cards first, so I'm just going to light my um, holy wood. Hopefully my candle won't go out. just feel like I need um, some grounding energies. Like yesterday, they came with my food delivery because it was just easy for me to do the shop that way. And the guy was lovely, but he was so ungrounded. He nearly fell over with all the items. I was like trying to catch him. And um, I just said, just be careful. It wasn't his fault. It's just the, the steps. We've got like a lovely tiled entrance and um, they've just redone it but I think whatever they haven't sealed the tails correctly and it's it's really slippy um then he forgot some of the food then he and he actually has forgotten some of the items but I mean look it's it's just very disorganized and chaotic and just in general when I went out yesterday the energies were very chaotic um it wasn't panic buying but it was just like there was a it just felt very ungrounded energy for me this is a really great way for me. I 
this helps me to ground with my sm- my sense of smell. And it's really weird, you know, they say like with, with COVID, you lose your, your sense of smell and um, taste. And I did quite badly, actually. But that didn't stop me from eating. <laughs> but it's so weird. At no point can I remember when it came back. I just said to myself, carry on as normal and it will come back. And obviously, I'm not advocating this. For some people, you can actually um, go through a protocol. Some people have used essential oils to do this and it's worked for them. I just said to myself, you know what? I love food too much. I've got this just belief that I'm if I just carry on eating, it'll come back. And you know what? There was no magic trick to it. There was just um, the holistic things that I use to help. I don't know, it just came back. It just came back on its own accord, right? So, some holy wood. Um, but yeah, just are oh, like, and I am a bit tired today, guys, so please forgive me if I am, um, you know, I probably look tired as well and I've got my ski gear on to go out because it's very cold where I am near the sea. Um, just the fear mongering has just it's got it's it's just ramped up even more when you don't think it can get even more now i can see this i've seen this all year a lot of people guys can still cannot see it they're still in this and i'm not going to be derogatory towards anybody because it's not going to help things but they cannot see what's going on um i was kind of asking spirit about this this morning because People will say to you, oh, the facts, the science, the this, the that. But when they're lying about so much, fa- supposed, f- they're not facts, are they, anymore? But also, this spirit said to me, it's why you've got your intuition. It's why we always guided you to start building this muscle many, many moons ago. Um, and I can see why they did now, why they really had my back, they have our back. Um because no matter what is going on out there, what is being um, proliferated, propagated in any shape or form or modality or method, your intuition, you just know something's off. You might, you can't put your finger on it. Um, it's a bit like, you know, when you're in a relationship with somebody and you know something's not quite right, it's a red flag, something feels off, but you don't have the evidence, you don't have the physical experience right in front of your eyes to say to you, this person isn't being honest with me or they are not being, they're not giving me, they're not telling me all the facts, they're holding something back, but your intuition feels everything because it can it's reading energy we're always reading energy subconsciously guys so this is why it's so helpful oh it's just a massive white feather just come down sometimes i look out the window when i'm when i'm just just chatting and tuning in with you because this the sky changes here and i've got a massive window in front of me and it's just all i see is the sky and it's just gorgeous um Yes, so just coming on really here to just see what messages Spirit have got. Um, I did put up um, a a post there on the main page, on my Facebook page about Julian Assange and what's going on there. And again, you know, so much has been said there, which has been about smearing somebody's character. Oh, it's happened in this, it's happened in that court of law. Um, the way I see it is that when somebody is a truth teller, they always try to bring them down. And what happens is everything gets deflected to come away from the fact of what, um, I don't even want to call them misdeeds, uh, but abhorrent behavior, killing innocent people, um, establishments and organizations that do not want these actual facts to come out because then they have to be held accountable. And also it reveals their true colours. So when somebody releases documents of these kinds, um, it's always a threat to those in power. So they'll do whatever they can to take them out. Um, I was reading some comments on um, a media channel and some of the comments that people were, were responding were quite horrific really um 
and I don't want to say certain words on these on this video. I don't want them to be flagged. Up. This video to be flagged up. Not that I'm anybody, but um, I like being underneath the radar. Um, because I think you can have more of an impact because you're not on certain people's radars. Anyway, um, this whole thing with people will say, oh, will he release this because of it was a threat to certain rules. If people were following the rules and doing what they had said they were doing under certain amendments and laws, these things wouldn't have to happen in the first place. So let's just get to the poisonous roots and uh, not bypass but not really I don't really want to engage with people that just look at everything that they read and then they think that's it um, yeah so the, the fear has been really been it's been really ramped up now so um, I said to myself now this week I just don't even think I'm going to read anything anymore because it's just, just not making any sense to me Anyway, um, that's one of the things that's coming up. So I feel like around this 12-12 day, um, the energies are just getting stronger and stronger. And I know some of you have written to me and said, you know, when will people wake up? When will this? People are on their own pathway and their own timeline. And what happens is when you've been, when you already know this, you've already been on your spiritual path for many, many years, you can see the truth of everything. Because when you, when you go on your spiritual path and you wake up, there's so many different names we can call this, you see everything. You see the light, you see the dark, you see the lies, you see the truth. Everybody's truth is different. However, you can re you've got x-ray vision to see when people are lying because you've done your own inner journey, you've done your own inner reflection work. And a big part of this journey is you get to a certain point where you will feel frustrated because you are seeing that you you start to question, well, why is no one else seeing what I'm seeing? And it can feel quite lonely. So what I would say is, is support yourself with people who, like you, have a vested interest in living a congruent life and being truthful. Like... For me, I'm very lucky that I'm in a place now in my life where the people I have around me in my inner circle, we are a match vibrationally. So if I want to talk about things that are bothering me, um, they let me, they allow me to be me. They don't want this, they don't want a censored people pleaser. They don't want somebody who's going to form them. It's just if I'm feeling something and I'm you know the truth is not being talked about I can talk to my friends about it and they will understand some of them actually we're very much in tune um and in agreement with it but also I have friends that have their own um thoughts on it and I can openly talk to them and we can and it's not a problem also what's really really important right now and I cannot stress this any more is that it's important to be able to laugh. You have to have a sense of humour because if you don't, everything will, will, will corrode and chip away at your psyche and you have to have a sense of humour. So you have to have an outlet. You have to have lightness in your life. You have to allow yourself to enjoy your life and love your life no matter what's going on. Um, right, so just want to share those things with you because it's just, you know, I'm like this week, it's my friends who have just got the best sense of humour. Like a lot of my my flying friends are like this, if the girls I used to fly with, is we've just got like, because we used to spend hours trying to keep ourselves away. We know each other really well, but we just, we had a really um, playful sense of humour at work because it was how we were able to um deal with the high level of stress in that job because in the air a lot of people become very irrational there's a lack of oxygen they're very stressed um it can get manic so you're holding it all together but then you're all, you're all also ready that if there's an emergency you can deal with it whether it's medical or whether it's safety so i think in a flying career you develop an ability 
to know how to tap into that lightness because it's like you your sanity depends on it guys so i think it's something that i've learned to do so i know sometimes in my videos i can come across as being um a bit serious but i also want you to know that there is a light side to me that's there's a fun playful side and the people i'm closest to see that the most um right more water so other thing i wanted to say to you energies right now collectively so the person you were last year is somebody who has evolved and changed in a year that's what life does it helps us to our experiences help us to grow and learn and evolve hopefully in a good way so we learn from them and go right and then it we adapt so what's been going on at the moment it's been going on in my life it's been going on in others life spirit said to me this is a energy at the moment that's playing itself out is that experiences and situations that have been coming up and been flagged up in your face like really strongly this last couple of weeks that have been showing you that you will no longer tolerate certain things in your life because you aren't they're showing up to really show you you are you've grown you've grown and you've outgrown them and that you don't need to accept them anymore so I'll share with you my situation. So with work, um, you know, I agreed to do some work with somebody. Uh, everything I was completely transparent. I said what I can, what I can offer, what I, where my boundary is, working hours and whatever. I also worked to a standard that I've learned. I can't really adjust. I can't just drop my standards just to get the job done. It just doesn't work for me. It's a value thing. Many of us have it, don't we? So, um, you know, when somebody tells you something is a certain way, but they haven't been honest. So that's what happened with me. So it became very, very quickly and apparent this wasn't going to work for me. So I sat with it and I was like, right, I need to make a decision on this or do I not make a decision? And it was actually like the decision was being made for me. So what can happen in life is we get squeezed and we can sometimes, what's the old default behavior would be to go into victim mode and go, why me? Why is this happening to me? But actually your victim will show up to say to you, right, it's time to get out of this. It's time for an alternative. It's time to speak up. It's time to stop putting up with the BS. It's time to say, actually, there's an alternative and I don't need to, this is what I would have accepted two years ago. But I've learned through the previous experience that I'm no longer needing to go through it again. And you might be asking me, uh, well then why, why has this experience come along? It's come along to show you you're ready for something new. And sometimes we need something very, very clear right in front of us that shows us if we if it came along in a happy-go-lucky way and then we're in it for six months and it's just not stretching us, it's not, you know, pulling our muscles, it's not helping us to grow, we're not going to learn, we're not going to get traction, we're not going to move forward, we're also not going to see how far we've come. So it's like, a, if you think, it's actually a physical measurement tool at the moment that Spirit are giving us. So for me, with my work, it's like, no, I'm just not working with you. Goodbye and good luck to you. But um, it, I also don't want to be affiliated with companies, businesses, organisations and individuals that don't really have a duty of care to their staff or to their organisation. Yak, 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 all talk, 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 but no action. Sorry, I'm a person that does action. So um, it could be anything. It could be in your relationships, a, a, an intimate relationship. It could be that you've met somebody and there's just so, there's the red flags have appeared and you've decided actually this relationship came along to show me it's really solidified what my non-negotiables are in intimate relationships. Um, it could be with your health. It might be that there's something now where you thought, oh, I'll just, I'll do that next year, I'll wait till January next year. And actually your body's saying, you know what, I am, this food in me don't really work anymore. Or like, I need to start putting more water into my diet. I don't know, it could be anything, guys. But 
So that's what's playing out at the moment. So this this period now, so we've got a full moon on the 18th in December in, in Gemini and it will be another eclipse. So these are very intense times, guys, but it's important because a lot of this fear stuff, um, yeah, I was, I, it was really starting to annoy me and then I thought, hang on here, what am I being annoyed about? And I thought, no, I need to get back to me who I really am, which is I know it, I can see exactly what's going on. Uh, and I'm not going to engage with it. It's not going to permeate and corrode itself into my life. The, those establishments and organisations can burn themselves out with their nonsense. I'm not participating in it. Not partic I'm going to remember what spirit put me down here for and what I am meant to do with them and work with them. Right, so astrology card. So spirit, what would you like us to know? And this 12, 12 day, 12, 12 day. Yeah. So the 11th house of friends has come out, Mercury and mind and spirit. Right, so this is really interesting. So this is just confirming a lot of what I've just said. So the 11th house is also about um, the house of dreams and wishes. I'm sure it is. I'm just going to double check this in the, um, the Black Moon Astrology cards by Susan Shepherd. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Let me just double check. Yeah, wishes and dreams, goals and hopes. Uh, so three of cups in the tarot. So, but this card has come out to really remind you about who and what you surround yourself with. Okay, can you see that? Also, this is about what are you listening to? You know, to filter out is what you're listening to. Is it what you believe or is it what somebody is telling you that they want you to believe that's what that why that card's come out it's what they're saying with that um i feel like it's just going to be short and sweet yeah because it's affecting this area and they said in december didn't they that the the area to work with was the area of air which in tarot is the sword which is the mental um faculty so it's you know it's our what we it's how we process what we believe, um, our thoughts, um, what we accept into our minds, into our psyche. So a Mercury again, the so Hermes in Greek mythology is he's not classed as a god, but he's classed as the archetype that links to the planet Mercury in astrology. This is what I love about metaphysics. So numerology astrology, Greek mythology, the myths, uh, storytelling, um, it all links into um, the same thing. It's, it's, it's almost like where symbology, as Caroline Mai says, that one of the universal laws is always to um, understand and see uh, synchronicity but also the importance of symbology and signs from spirit so with mercury it's linked to being a trickster planet as well so hermes is known for tricking people so you know like hypnotizing and i'm not saying hypnotherapy is bad it's really good actually um i actually use some of it sometimes it's what a lot of the meditations that we do is we are re we are telling the subconscious mind that this is what we accept because the subconscious mind always accepts what you tell it but this is also saying about you know the 11th house of a people but it could be um you know what we're being told by others um what we're allowing to get what we are allowing into our minds so I'm just going to look at that 11th um, house card again because it's something I feel like I've missed. Um, yeah, so it's organisations. It's the place where we discover we are not alone, the 11th house, being different, individual, one of a kind, foreigners, other cultures. Actually, I would link that more with 9th house. Um Suffering from rejection or banishment from the tribe, 
traveling to foreign lands, entering a new field. So again, what Spirit is saying, like we are not to know why other people might not be speaking up and out or they might not be sharing their opinions and what they believe because they've got a fear of that exclusion from the family or the tribe. And actually around this time of year, a lot of people are dealing with this around gatherings and you know we've been told well you can do this and you can't do this and and what I'm doing is I'm just doing what I feel is safe for me and my family and my family it, we don't have an issue so my Irish family what I really love about them is they would never exclude me and I would never exclude them regardless of our medical status or whatever it, it, it is because if they were concerned or I were concerned, we would just talk to each other and there would be a solution because that's the way that they are and it's the way that I am. And I'm really lucky that my wild Northwestern Irish family, um, that I am, because that's where I'm going, I'm spending time with them, is, you know, they've said, if you decide not to come and you're just not feeling it last minute, not a problem. Like, I mean, talk about total freedom. <laughs> you know and you know my dad was like this I mean he wasn't like that when I was growing up when he was a kid but that's because he was just overprotective but as I was an adult I just say to him dad I really don't want to do this and he goes well that's fine you just do what you need to do he said just and he'd always say to me over complicated over complicated situations or people who were just disingenuous he'd just say walk away don't even waste your time on it. But this is what's interesting with this, is we've got the sun and spirit card. So instead of being stuck in the mind during this period, the 12th of the 12th, it's a power time, is it's about our alliances on, on and our allegiances and st not strengthening, but being around that lightness, which is the sun and spirit. And bringing that into our lives more and more. But also, um, this is really the way forward, is tuning in and being with spirit. And this is this is a really powerful period to let go of whatever's in here. So like for me now with work, that what, what it brought for me was some things that I need to look at. Well, why, why would I put with that? Why would I? Because what was really interesting during the week was I had phone calls from people desperate for people to do, to, for te they cannot get teachers at the moment. And I said to this guy, I'm not working for that amount. I said, you know, I'm sorry, but I've, like I've earned my stripes now, guys. I've done enough jobs. I'm at a point in my life where I can't say what kind of salary I want. And the guy was like, yeah, he was absolutely great. And I said, I'm not being rude to you, but... I don't want to waste your time and people are, and, and you know, it's like we're wasting each other's time. So I will ask, well, what are you, what's the pay rate? I need to know. I've got bills to pay. All this, you know, faffing around and, you know, this like, this nonsense that people do with jobs and recruitment. And it's like, just what, and one of the agencies I work with, I really like, because they tell you straight away on the email what the pay rate is. Why are you like, you know, dodging what we're going to have to ask in the first place. Um, so like when, when I get the answer, then I know where I'm at. And then when the reality isn't matching what the person told me the job's going to be, then we, then I go back and I deal with it and nip it in the bud. But when you're in it, sometimes it's difficult because you think like for me, this opportunity came up and I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to try it out. But it's just like the shoes don't fit because I've outgrown the shoes. I'm wearing now much more high tech. I'm just having a joke with you here, but high tech, um, state of the art shoes, and that that's where what I feel comfortable in. The old shoes for me were a bit worn out. You know, the soles are a bit. There's a hole appearing. The water's going to come in leaking of the energy do you see where i'm going so the sun and spirit card i'm going to have a look at this i'm going to see well what's this message from spirit for us just looking at the time there otherwise the days just run away with us um i wish to live i want to thrive is the message with this card this is life force it's power it's the heart chakra so this is about following your heart not your mind and I saw something, I think it was at the University of Manchester, and it was the 
the chancellor there I saw something online I was looking at it last night and she was saying about use your head but follow your heart and I thought yeah that's really great advice I suppose to students um but I'm going to be honest here and I don't follow that philosophy because that's not mine um but I respect that that's hers um because we are allowed to have our own little mantras and ways right so this is leadership reigning over the situation showing majesty crown crown you know and it's it's ironic really because this um this pandemic the the name corona links to crown in latin doesn't it being noble taking back your sovereignty this is this card being regal a return to life getting a second chance resurrection passionate love good feelings happiness showing confidence exhibiting grace generosity cats random but there you go i love cats anybody else love cats summer months tropical areas parties bonfires cookouts the colors orange red and gold decadent sometimes bad taste the heart the liver and the upper spine heartburn dealing or working with children censoring the inner child ex ex except on special occasions excuse me uh, gaining favor winning prizes or rewards finding your divinity buddhism that's great isn't it radiating wisdom and light castles and grandiose homes new furniture being noticed what is shining bright allowing yourself to shine gold metal so again there's a link here to um the element of metal and using the vibration of gold and silver to protect yourself with your crown chakra but also with what you're listening to and you're hearing um <clears throat> excuse me so it's like what you're what you are allowing this area of your because you know we hear we see we think it we bring it into our brain don't we it programs people it brainwashes people so to use the energy of gold but i'm just feeling like you know they say with collodial silver what's that used for now i'm not saying take this or anything by the way but I just keep seeing like silver and how, and it's really interesting because there's a pewter silver color in the clouds as I'm looking out the window as a color to work with, to almost like as a protective, as a suit of armor in your auric field to help you if you're feeling particularly sensitive at this time and you're feeling like whatever is going on out there and what we are constantly being pummeled with is so negative and fearful and actually... A lot of what we are being shown is not what's really going on. It's all diversion tactics. Um, a lot of it's diversion tactics from... I saw an article today. I'm not going to go on about this. I'm just going to use this as a point. And it was saying about how because of all of this new variant, they now might need to use the social care levy to pay for everything. That's convenient, isn't it? So all this money that we spent on PPE and fat cat contracts going out to mates of politicians, none of that's been reclaimed back. None of that's been accounted for in the public purse. However, now the public are being expected to pay for this. So things like this are just going really underneath the radar. So it's almost like, well, yeah, people are, we're being responsible and we're reporting this, but actually are we when you see the first section of articles is just about one subject it's very it's not impartial so again that's a tactic going on guys again your spirit will always guide you will always guide you to what's sovereign and true um but also this is about power and influence so we have more power and influence over ourselves and anybody else we have sovereignty we have um presence it's saying about being willful here as well um see it's supporting the underdog as well you know the truth tellers having integrity that's what this card is so again who do, who do you have around you are you surrounded by people um are you affiliated are you associated are you are you spending time with people that have this integrity that have the integrity and the willingness to own what they believe even if you disagree we can all disagree because the thing is when you're in your own sovereignty it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks because you feel comfortable in your own skin you you know when you know what your truth is 
like I, you know, a lot of things I've not, I won't share publicly um, because I know they're just true for me. I don't need to justify them to anybody else. Like it's, I know I'm being metaphorical here, but sovereignty is knowing, it's being in your own regal energy and power, your own queendom, your own king, your whole court, your whole court for yourself. Um, and I mean, yeah, you get irked and people will still annoy you and you'll get, you know, reactions to things. But I mean, we're human, aren't we, guys? We're human. But also that sun and spirit is very much linked to not... Because you see, when we censor ourselves, we're also censoring our inner child. And when we censor our inner child, it closes down, it doesn't... We don't feel playful. We'll do, and I mean, God, who has in the last couple of years? But I mean, I was watching something on um, one of the media channels the other day. Oh, it was so funny. Um, and it was just great to have a bit of a laugh. And again, our world out there is trying to censor free speech. But are you? I'm not. I don't want woke dumb. I don't want to be around people in my own inner circle that I have to worry about saying stuff to because then I'll be eradicated. Who wants people like that around them? But it's difficult because there are a lot of people out there fighting for freedom of speech. And um and I'm you know, I'm a supporter of that and I will I will support that as well because for me that's what truth symbolizes. But that you might not have time and it might not be something that you invest in, but um we all have our, you might be into your animal rights, you might be into, um, you know, the planet, you might be into helping abolish slavery in your local community. Again, we've all got our things. Um, but also there's like a camaraderie when you're around your own, your own type of people. Um, you know, there's a sense of sisterhood, brotherhood, kinship, and we all need that. We all need that now more than ever um, to be around people that we can just have a laugh with and we just do not have to doctor what we're saying and who we are. Right, okay, so I'm 37 minutes. Right, so I'm going to ask um, Spirit what else they want to know, what they, else they want us to know. I'm not going to use the vision quest. I'm going to use the astral realms and the fairies. So anything else you want us to know at this 12, 12, 12 day. So as you can see now, the sun's coming out. The sun, thank you so much. We'll have lots of that vitamin D. I'm going to get out there and put that on my skin. The elements of the sun. Perspective, trust, resolve and healing. So this is what this time, so just remember those words. This is what this time at the moment is. The 12th to the 21st. Gaining perspective, trusting what you're seeing, trusting what you're believing. This is internal, guys. It's not external. It's really just cleansing it's cutting out all that nonsense um yeah resolution it's bringing in a sense of um it's bringing in a sense of of healing actually which is the next card and it's funny because the planets that have come out is chiron is the wounded healer vesta is home isn't it i think it symbolizes palace is that palace athena um I'm going to look at that card if that's to do with love and also perspective, which is Neptune. So you see Neptune is a water planet, rules Pisces. Neptune, again, it's all linked to the moon energy because it's watery. Um, Neptune can almost like bring in illusionary behavior. Water, when water is being polluted, um, the toxins in the water, the water systems, uh, when ne Neptune's out of balance, that's just what I'm seeing around that. I don't know what that means, but it's just what I'm getting. Um, I wanted to check Palace um, Athena 31. 31. Right, let's have a look. It's like it's a really strong energy today, but there's also an. A, even though I just feel like it's a massive tune up energy. That's how I feel like I'm quite wired energetically, but I could also get into bed and sleep, which is when that's happening, I know I'm getting a tune up. So I also wanted to say to you, because I've seen this at the moment, it's something I'm doing, saying no to these situations, is that 
what's going on for many people is that the new situation won't appear until you say no to this one. And obviously, I'm not saying this is reckless, reckless behavior, but if you know what I'm talking about here, you'll be dealing with a situation in your life at the moment going, I'm not doing this anymore. This is just not for me. I just can't do it. And actually, as you get older, as a woman, I find you actually, for some reason, it just gets so much easier to just say no. You learn to say no because you just don't have the energy. Um because you want to use your time efficiently, it's a gift. Um, it's the, it's There's a bit of a leap of faith here. So the universe is calling for the leap of faith. It's like the new opportunity is veiled at the moment because this period is to allow you to um, attune, to let go, to so just say no, not doing that anymore, then attune rest and then see what's going to come in i'm going to see what the fairy cards say with this so trust um instinct development and wisdom so what i would say with that card is that is saying to you yeah it's definitely feminine energy yeah stay only what you need and leave the rest let your words and manifestations be known to the universe and let go of any doubts in your mind fully leave them to dissipate into the ether which is into the atmosphere trust your manifestations will find their way back to you in physical form when your frequencies align god that's so great i love it when the cards confirm what i'm feeling and what spirit are giving um you must allow the universe to work in rhythm with and for you, trusting that there is always a connection between yourself and the divine that leads you towards fulfilling and enjoyable experiences. Yes, these experiences that, whoops, that some of us are going through the light there. Um, I like you to see the light changing because this happens all the time and it's great. It's, just, it's basically today as I've been doing this reading, there were, there were storm clouds and now the sun's come out to play. And what this is, is this is a message today to say to any of us who have recently been going through some squeezing experiences that remind us of our past are turning up in our lives to tell us that the old version of you is well long and gone and that these these situations are calling you to say, actually, I am now fully ready for fulfilling and enjoyable experiences that don't require me to be squeezed in order to say no. That's what they are. Palace, I've still not answered my own question, have I? Um, yeah, asteroid Palace Athena. So it's about, um, it's named after the goddess Athena. It's all about skill, wisdom and courage. So I would say this is the courage, the leap of faith. So the perspective is that you've gained a new perspective this week and you're going, right, okay, something's happened. And I'm like, no. Trust and have courage. Uh, the resolution is coming, okay, but you probably might not see it at the moment because after you've really just nailed this and you've said, that's it, final nail on this box and it's going away, um, the the resolution will come to you because the, the healing's there and the resolve. So beautiful cards. Thank you so much, Spirit. What's on the top of the pack is Shakti solar plexus chakra so there is going to be change coming there's going to be tangerine quartz isn't that gorgeous can you see that it's a gorgeous card yeah so after the healing there's the snake uh is solar plexus the solar plexus is you know i know what i need to do i'm just going to go and do it shiva and shakti the god and the goddess again this is we did the shiva shakti dance in yoga and it's about being receptive and it's about giving and being the perfect match within. It's actually one of the most beautiful parts of the um, the five elements yoga that we did. Everybody that did it loved that bit. I kind of forgot that I did that, but anyway, nice reminder. Right, fairies. So anything that they want to impart on us and then I'm going to go and get out there in the fresh air. So you said that, you know, the resolution is coming. Is there anything you want us to know about that or anybody watching uh, about resolutions? Okay, so for some people it's about romance. Right, where do you want these cards, please? And I will bring the camera down so you can see them.
Okay, so that's to do with romance and together. What about up here? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think some of you are going to like this reading when the romance section. Wow, I just, you know, I love these cards. They always make so much sense to me. Oh, bless. Right. Laughter is on the top of the pack there, guys. So we cannot take ourselves too seriously at this time. Like when I find when the going gets tough and it just, I feel like my head's going a bit. It's like I just go right step back now. This is just absolute utter nonsense. What can I do? Um, and I just had like the crazy sweet this week, and some like people were just like asking. It was just relentless. Um, and um, and I'm actually really looking forward to going back to my readings next week, and not this week, but next weekend. I'm gonna do a reading for a client. I'm really looking forward to it because as soon as my client contacted me, I was like, yeah, this is what I'm meant to be doing instead. <laughs> you know, when you get that, you just get that confirmation. You think, oh my God, like it makes me appreciate my spirit work so much. Right. Okay. Let's put the camera down, guys. So hopefully you can see this and I will hold the cards up to you. So first card that came out is Breaking Free. So there's something now at the moment on this 12-12 that we are just going... Oh my God, I can't deal deal with this anymore. This is the way it's coming through. It's like we're being, we're being squashed through a tunnel, but it's all good. It's all good. Moving forward fearlessly. This change has a energy to it. It has like a, um, a dynamic that once the decision is made, like the no, 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 no. Once that decision is made, the first domino rolls and then that is it you are on a trajectory that is not going to stop and I almost want to say to you so if you think this could be for anything guys when I do my readings you know this anyway now um, I'm talking about any situation in your life that, and you're listening to this video and it you know what this is about the thing that's pulling you that's giving you it's either got the most charge in your life right okay so I want to just say this generally the problem resolved it's coming OK, but again, you can't see it at the moment. So your job right now is to be in a state of kindness and gentleness with yourself, whatever that means for you. The dreams coming true card is and I know that's a big tall order, isn't it right now? But I can honestly say, you know, and they've said spirit said this all the way through. Do not put your life on hold. Miracles are still hap happening every day in our lives. Um. But what's happening is, in the world right now, I'm just going to put the camera up again, is um, what's happening in the world right now is all these supposed separation, um, I don't even know what to call them. What do I call them? You tell me what I, what I should call them. Um, strategies is what they're saying is it's galvanizing us all together. So all us light workers, spiritual warriors, healers, teachers, guardians of the earth, keepers of um, the earth magic, the animal kingdom, you know who you are, um, creators, artists, you know, whatever name you call yourself and you are part of this, is it's actually pulling us together because we're seeking each other out more and more and more and it's going to it's going to squeeze people or almost like push people one way or the other um but ultimately your spirit your soul is always always it's omnipresent so no matter what they try to do to the physicality your spirit will always because we you can't kill the spirit you know, we live on forever when we go up there. That's why mediumship readings are so, they're so valuable. They're life-changing for people because when they get the evidence of their loved one in spirit, they think, oh my God, I can develop a connection with them that is not in the physical and you can. And, and when you do, you realise that the love, yeah, of course you miss them, but the love never, never, it never ends never end you're going to see them again you're going to see them again when you cross over at right angela stay on point i will i'm listening that's somebody from my spirit family right so uh this is a message of hope message of hope not denying what's going on um this got to be balanced it's got to be back it's not like oh 
sale this week, you're going to get £10,000 in it. Yeah, great. Somebody probably will win this morning competition on ITV. Um, but like, when that's not all, we're not all going to win through that route in our lives. Um, right, so there's another element to this, which is to do with intimate relationships for some people. So romance and sexuality, and it's interesting actually because I've just bought something holistic aromatherapy, which is linked to all of this, um, which is every time like I spray it, I end up swallowing it. I'm not supposed to, because <laughs> I end up spraying it anyway. It's just um, it's a an, an oil that I'm that I'm working with, um, and and I love it. It's just it's so beautiful and powerful. Again, we've got so many things on tap to us, uh, so. What I want to say with this, because I can't tune in for every single situation because it's impossible, is for some of you around, this whole situation is around sovereignty and being able to say yes and no to what you feel, you you believe, you... It's not... I don't want to say the word deserve, but I do... <laughs> Because deserve implies that, you know, I'm entitled. But I think you all know I don't come from that angle. But you believe that you can receive into your life. And it might have been a long time since you've met somebody that you really gel with. Or it could be that you've been around a lot of people in the past that broke your trust and just weren't honest. Sorry if I'm squinting, but I just like the light coming in. Um... But I want to say to you, it is here, it, you can manifest this, you can have this in your life if you want at any age, by the way. This nonsense about you're over the hill, I mean, there's just so much programming with women. As you get older, as a woman, you start to see this, that uh, how things are linked, beauty products, and we're still not quite there yet. It's like, we don't honour the wisdom of the divine feminine as it gets older it's all to do with beauty it's all to do with a physicality that's only this deep when actually when you because when you're in this relationship whatever orientation you are you all have feminine energy and this what we look like will ultimately evolve into something different and i don't know about you but i mean have you ever been out with a partner man, woman, whatever, who is obsessed with that or only focuses on that. It, it, there's just an unbelievable amount of shallowness to that. I'm not criticising it, I'm just calling it out for what it is. But also having to maintain that falsehood in your relationship because it has a time limit to it um, because of because of the reality of it. That's exhausting. It's exhausting. Who can be bothered with that nonsense? Because this is where the real beautiful intimacy lies. Um, and this could be around intimacy for some people. It could be around intimacy in relation to allowing somebody back into your life. It could be... Um, A fear, I'm going to call it that, around somebody getting close to you again and trust that they'll let you down. And what Spirit is just saying to me is, you just take your time, you don't, they're just saying to me, feels rushing now. Obviously, some of you might have got married to your partner after two weeks and be happily married for 25 years. That does happen. Again, I think these are people that really know themselves when this happens. They just know. Because they trust their instincts, they trust their intuition. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about if you've been in relationships that were dysfunctional, there were things you were working through with your own self-esteem, whatever it was. It can be an array of different things um, of why we enter into to those types of relationships to wake up within us that we, that we want to heal. Is that we take your time. This is where the real beauty of intimacy lies so it's to do with being yourself being able to to speak your truth being able to being able to have a chat with your partner being able to just sit and talk to them it's actually lovely to have that connection 
And actually, there was an article today saying about how, you know, your relationship's doomed if you just watch too much TV. And I was laughing because I had a relationship like that once. I had a partner who was just like, we just wanted to watch TV. And I was just like, I don't. I get really bored. Like, if I watch TV, I still need my brain stimulated. So it's either food programs, documentaries. The odd time I'll watch a film, but it's very rare. But you know, like, they want to watch. They'll watch everything. I'm like so prosperous and I was just like, oh my God, it's just like, I just disconnect. But anyway, that's just a funny side story. But, you know, having, having not shared interests, but being able to quietly be together, but you've got, you can still, you can still follow your heart and what you love. And you, it's not about, yeah, it's about compromise, but it's about, your partner can still follow their passions and you can follow follow yours and you don't have to sacrifice that at the expense of a relationship. The happily ever after card is there. So it's saying that the pathway, the, this doorway is opening up for people now massively. I mean, look at it. I'm just going to bring that card closer. Can you see? But you might not be able to see the person yet. They're looking out. I'm not saying they're waiting, but they're about to walk through the door. Like the elf is going on a journey. He's got his backpack. The fairies are around it, guiding it. And then there's a unicorn and there is a queen and she's got a crown on. I love it. I love it. There's a crown. Again, king, queen, whatever you're into. It's irrelevant that it's a woman. It's just that there's a crown there and there's a person walking through. And the quiet time, it's also about being able to be alone because it's in the quiet moments and the reflection time, which is now, this is the time now, the reflection time. I know you'll be going, oh, I've got so much work, but you can still have reflective time. If you're doing your art, you're doing your writing, I'm doing my teaching at the moment, I can still have reflective time. Because what I do is I just I disconnect from, from the craziness and the nonsense. Um, but it's also the, the type of energy I'm getting here around relationship for some people is that this is not a relationship where you need to just be out there on social media like, like look at us. This is a relationship where you just feel so lucky to have found each other. You just want to be together and you just want to spend your time getting to know each other as like best friends. That's the energy I get around that. And obviously the laughter's on the top there, but they're just saying, just don't lose your sense of humor right now, guys. It's your superpower. Yeah, well, the environmental awareness card has come out. So um, I have to say here, this is going to mean different things to different people. Some people will be moving. Um into relationship they'll be physically moving to meet their partners in the next two to three months there will be a shift in their dynamic which is going to bring in this and this is about love guys this is about romance this is about romance and i know there's a man and a woman on the cards but what this is symbolizing is the feminine the divine feminine and the divine masculine so the divine masculine has had to sort stuff out it's had to do the day-to-day -day work, the organisation, the uh, the filing, you know, that kind of stuff. And the feminine has worked on the sexual wounds. So again, if you're a man, this could be linked to you as well, the divine feminine, because we have both. Um, so the trust issues, the intimacy issues, the, you know, not allowing, and I, I'm just going to say this, this is the energy I get with the Divine Feminine. It's, it's, it was almost essential for her in some respects to close off this area for her to really, um, I'm actually going to say to protect herself from people that weren't worthy of her energy. Um, it's actually been part of her growth. But this time now is about breaking three from that, you see breaking three right guys i am going to leave it there because uh yes i want to crack on just like you power day i'm going to power on up i'm going to get out there now and just get some air into my lungs and into my airways and into my meridians and i'm just gonna i'm gonna ask spirit to really chew me up ground me ground cl cleanse my chakras while i'm out there in the air 
um for a busy week ahead but i i don't know about you i've already made my decisions i know what i'm not doing after this week um in the lead up to christmas and um yeah and let's just see because something new there's always some there's always an alternative there's always something around the corner um it's just that with if we just constantly buy into this fear mongering and this absolute craziness out there what it does is it stops us from us empowering ourselves so let's just not get caught up on it let's support each other uh, regardless of our differences in on our choices or what we believe um and let's focus on us allowing us for our sovereignty whatever that means for each and every one of us lots and lots of love and i will be back here whenever i can whenever spirit guide me to do a video i'll be back here but use this energy power up full moon in gemini is also going to help you to cleanse anything uh for some people they will actually even probably manifest around the full moon some people do that i do more around the new moon but remember we're still in this sagittarian new moon energy so it's offering us a real fresh um spiritual advancement if we take it lots of love speak to you soon